Well, we finished building our spring head. Now we're down to our last assembly, the adjusting head. The assembly of the adjusting head is very, very similar to the assembly of the spring head. One major difference, as we had mentioned, you can see that on the spring head, the eye bolt is in the last hole. The bolt here that goes down to the uh, spring nut is in the second hole, or middle hole, I should say. It's just been reversed here. This is the bolt with the spring nut under it. Eye bolt is now in the middle hole instead of in the outside hole <clears throat> as it was previously. Other than that, our build is nearly identical. Obviously, we've got this spacer here instead of a spring. One thing that I didn't mention with the uh, last segment, you want to adjust the height of your eye bolt once you get everything all together adjust the height of your eye bolt so it pulls down on the spacer here to the point where the distance between the in this case the orange corner bracket and the bottom of the spacer is about four and a half inches four and a half inches. We want to have this carriage bolt tipped just a little bit. We don't want it perfectly straight. When you start applying tension to the string, we're going to be pulling right here and it's going to want to tip the carriage bolt downward like so. When it does the post is going to lean forward, of course not that much, but it's going to lean forward and it's going to possibly allow the string to climb up the post and pop off. That is why we have installed right here the, uh, in this case, the drilled out uh, shaft collar, quarter inch shaft collar that we've drilled out we mentioned that before to to fit over this if you find that on either head the adjusting head or the spring head if you have a problem with the string climbing then you will go down here and adjust this nut and the one on the bottom to pull this down uh, tip it just a little more usually that's not a big deal we have our roll pins installed. Not a lot to say about this that is different from the assembly of the spring head. Pretty much the same as I mentioned. Four and a half inches from here to here. Again, we want to, when we tighten the eye bolt, we want it pushed as far forward in the hole as we can get it, uh, just makes the jig work a little bit better and uh, gives you a real, real nice jig. I want to talk about one more little thing you can build, as long as this segment is short. I've developed a little uh, string clamp, like so. And this is real handy. Does a couple of things. I can run this down a ways, like so, and run this down like this, and use it for attaching my tag ends, anchoring my tag ends when I'm wrapping it. Let me let me install this on the jig. Gives you a little bit of an idea 
what I'm talking about. And when you're giving a demonstration, <laughs> nothing ever wants to work right, does it? Okay. Put it back here. I can use it now. Stick my tag ends in here and uh, anchor them off. Of course, good for that. I would have one. I would build two, one for each head. I can also position these inside on my string, and I could. I'd raise this a little bit more, and I would use this as a string clamp to prevent my string from twisting while I'm serving it. Simple little device. Let me show you what it's made of. You'll want to build two of these. So you've got two seven-inch sections of all thread. You will need three quarter-inch fender. Well, I believe these, I think, are one and a half-inch fender washers with a uh, quarter-inch hole in the middle of them. Got two nylon washers of the same size like so and a square nut quarter inch square nut real simple little tool little device works real good you can use like I said you can use it to anchor your tag ends or you can uh, Use it as a string clamp. While I'm thinking of it here, one thing that you're going to want to do with your spacer here, you want to make sure that the surface that rubs up against the nut right here is very smooth. Now you're going to want to put grease. Just I use regular old ac or uh, bearing grease, wheel bearing grease on the threads and I get a little wheel bearing grease into here too but you want to take this spacer and you want to make this just as smooth as you can get it I take a little 220 sandpaper put it down on a flat surface and ee, 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 get it real nice and smooth when you get this smooth and you get a nice coat of grease on it this just turns smooth as butter and you'll uh, really like the way that your jig performs. Well, that's about it. I think we've covered the parts of the jig, how to build it. Uh, it's a very, very fine jig. When you get yours built, you'll like it. It is very strong, very strong. I have, <laughs> one day I accidentally ran one of these jigs up to 600 pounds it held. It was straining, but it held. It'll handle 300, 400, 450, uh, just fine. It's a very, very strong jig, very durable jig. You're going to like your jig. And uh, so, I guess that's about all I have. Get your parts, finish your jig, and happy string building. This is Auto Man. Shoot him straight.